Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm an independent demonstrator in the US. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a beautiful set of cards. This is part of the One Stamp at a Time blog hop and our theme for today is Where the Wild Things Grow. Hmm, what kind of wild things? Just flowers, flowers. We're gonna be sharing flowers today. I'm gonna to be using the beautiful Bloomin' paper that is part of our celebration promotion. And I'm going to show you a whole selection of cards made with all the prints of the paper. I think you're gonna love this one. Let's flip the camera around and get started. So my wild things today are going to revolve around the Paper Blooms 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is some really big, bold prints with some fun, smaller prints on the back of it. This is free with your $50 order. So 12 by 12 pack of paper, you get 12 sheets, fabulous deal. I'm going to be using the You Are Amazing stamp set. I love the big bold greetings in here and you even get this background word bubble. That's always a lot of fun. This is part of the You Are Amazing kit. Now this kit is a whole project kit and it comes with everything to make 16 cards. You get printed envelopes with them and I've already made this kit up. I did a video on it a while back. Look at how pretty these are. These cards are so colorful. The nice thing about this kit is that this stamp set is available to purchase separately. Look at how pretty this is. And again, this is called the You Are Amazing Project Kit. Very, very fun, bold cards. Perfect for birthdays, thank yous. You've got just about everything in here. I just wanted to show you this because this stamp set that I'm using today to make these cards are part of the kit. And of course, you get all these envelopes with colored flaps. Those are fun, right? Let's get to making our cards. This is a fun fold that we're gonna make today. And like I said, we're going to be using all of the patterns. I think all of the patterns. I'm pretty sure all of the patterns. And it even comes in this cute little box. This makes a great gift. You can give the kit as a gift with the stamp set, or you can make up all the cards and give the whole box of cards to somebody. I am going to bring in, oh, here it is, my piercing mat. This is what I like to stamp on. And then I've got all of my cardstock layers here. So we are going to be using Old Olive. This is a coordinating color with the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. This piece is eight and a half by five and a half. Fold it in half cut one inch off of this edge right here. So you can see I've already cut one inch off. So you're gonna slide this, whoops, slide this into your paper cutter and get rid of one little inch here. Okay, next up, we've got an inside layer. This is four by five and a quarter basic white. And then I've got the pretty paper blooms, designer series paper. This is three by five and a quarter. I've got another strip here that is one by five and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of old olive that is already scored. And this piece is scored at three and a half inches and it is the one inch that we cut off from this side. Okay, so we cut this off and then we scored it at three and a half inches. All right, oh, and we need scraps. We're gonna be using some Knight of Navy scraps for these cards too. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use my Label Me Lovely punch to punch out several Knight of Navy labels. I've got four. I've got all of these here. We're gonna take an old olive scrap and we are going to stamp our happy birthday. This is a big bold stamp, so you wanna make sure that you give it good pressure, probably not that much. I'm gonna clean my stamp off and try that again. 
who else gets edges? That's what I always call them. I call them edges. I'm going to juice this ink pad up just a little bit because I think that it's a tad bit dry. This is how I add some refill, ink refill, to my ink pads. And I take a plastic spoon that I keep right here on my desk and I push that into my ink pad. Now you're going to end up with a messy spoon. And that's why we have baby wipes, right? <laughs> Keep those handy too. I'm going to bring in another scrap and try this again. Oh, I can already feel this feels so much better. Boom, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Okay, now, as long as I'm going to make a bunch of cards, I'm going to use some of the other colors. This is Rococo Rose. Again, this is one of the colors that matches. Oh, I got some edges on there, too. I'm pushing too hard. Some days are a little more challenging than others, right? That looks really good. I've got soft sea foam scrap here. And I think I'll do, I don't know if I need one or two white ones, but we'll see. I'm just going to do one for now. Perfect. All right, we are going to punch these out with the same punch. So I'm going to come in here and center this nicely, punch that out. Punch this out. Oops. And get it centered in there. Punch this out. And this one doesn't look all that solid, so I'm gonna do a diff I'm gonna do it again. And this is real life stamping with Kelly, right? I know everything doesn't go perfect at your house either, but we can always make little improvements if we catch them. And my Y here was a little light. I didn't press hard enough. So here comes this one. Okay. For right now, we're just gonna work with the old olive. We're gonna take one of these Knight of Navy and we're going to cut it right in half. And now I'm going to add this to the back of my old olive layer. Just like this. I like to kind of bring it in here. I'm standing up so I can see what I'm doing. Bring that in just like this. And then try to get it even in the same distance as the other one. That looks really good. We're going to take our white layer. And our white layer is going to get this piece of designer series paper, whoops, this side, right over on the edge. So I want to stamp a sentiment. And I've got the hip hip hooray, three cheers for you. So we're going to use Night of Navy ink for that. And I want to lay that piece on there so that I know where to put this stamp. And I think right here is going to look good. See, I got edges again. Do you guys, if you guys find that you're getting edges on your stamps, one thing that you can do to eliminate that. Remember these old scissors? These are really old Stampin' Up! scissors. And what I will do is I will perform some surgery. Now, when you're cutting the rubber on your stamps, you want to make sure that you're keeping your scissors so that you're cutting straight up and down. You don't want to cut at an angle either way because then things don't stamp that great. But I know sometimes people freak out when they see me doing this. Oh, this one I don't think is going to give me any problems. But these are my stamps and I want them to work to the best of their ability. And sometimes our cutters, you know, the things that cut these just can't get close enough to the edge. And now you see I've got a little bit of edge showing there, but not that whole top like I had before. So I'm going to bring this in again. 
and stamp this again. Ah, oh, look at how nice that looks. Now I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take and add this one inch strip right to the side, and I'm using the other side so that I can use the coordinating color of paper on the other side of the big bold paper that I'm using here. Let me get this. This is the other side. I'm gonna trim off this little bit back here. And now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna add this to the inside layer, okay? So we're gonna have that right on the front. I'm gonna keep it tucked up there and I'm just gonna put some glue right here. I'm gonna fold that over. And then we're gonna take this layer and we're going to add this to the front of our card. And I'm gonna snip this off just a little bit. I don't need it to go that far out. Sorry about the beeping. Somebody apparently needs to talk to me, but they're gonna have to wait. So what I'm doing here is I just wanna get this kind of in the center and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put some glue right on this little tab and I'm going to add this layer right here. Now we're gonna bring this in and we're gonna add this layer. This is our designer series paper that is three by five and a quarter. We're gonna put this right on the front panel. Got a nice um, eighth inch all the way around each side here. Isn't that pretty? I just love the bold colors. Now we're gonna bring this into the inside. And we're gonna put this right in here. Make sure that I've got it straight here. Oops, I think I need to pull it over just a little bit. Gosh, I usually don't have this much. <laughs> I don't usually have to readjust so much, but like I said, some days are better than others. Look at how pretty that is, right? So we've got this fun fold. And then I decided to bring in the Playing With Patterns ribbon combo pack. You get all of these in a pack, and it just so happens to have some Knight of Navy ribbon in it. And I just thought it would be kind of cool to maybe wrap this around here a few times. You could then tie it in a bow. I'm gonna tie mine in a knot. And let's see if I can get this knot. Sometimes I wish I had somebody in here with a finger and not the middle finger either. <laughs> Just a finger to help me tie the knots. There we go. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, right? Okay, let me show you what else I've got here. So, since I have, you know, the paper's free, I have a lot of it, why not decorate this envelope flap? And we're going to just put this paper on here. Now this piece of designer paper is two and a half by six. And I just add the glue to the envelope flap and then I go around, I use this backside as my guide. I know I sound like a broken record. If you follow me, you see me do this all the time. And this is why I buy two packs of designer series paper when I can buy the paper. In this case, this paper's free with your $50 order. This is why I always get two packs of designer paper so that I don't have to feel like I have to be chintzy about using the paper. But here we have a beautiful envelope with our card. Now, I have a bunch of other cards here using that same layout. That's why I punched all of these and stamped up all of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish these up. I'm gonna put them all together and then I'll be right back in a second to show you all the different pretty colors. Okay, here we go. Here's the first card that I made for you. Pretty, pretty. Here comes the second one. Now this uses this 
paper right over here. Okay. And I used some of that seaside spray ribbon that I thought matched this really nicely. So we've got that one. Then we've got this one. Oh, and this is Rococo Rose. Then we've got this one that's seaside spray. I didn't stamp anything on the inside of this one yet, but I will. Then we've got this one that is soft sea foam, and I thought this was really pretty. Here's another, or another, yeah, another Rococo rose, and don't you love the blue flowers with this? Very, very cool. And then amongst all of this, we even have a card that could be given to a man. We've got these polka dots that are right here with like, I wanna call these tire treads. But look at how cool that is. So a whole bunch of cards. You saw how simple they were to make. I hope you will um, get your order in before the end of February, okay? February 28th is the last day of celebration. It only lasts two months this year instead of our normal three because we're bringing it back in July and August. How exciting. I'm really excited to see some more celebration products coming out this summer. Now don't forget, this is all part of a blog hop, Where the Wild Things Grow. These are my wild things. And you're going to find all the information for these cards, a complete ingredient list, all of the dimensions on my blog. You can click right up here. That's gonna take you over to my blog. You're gonna scroll down until you find these projects and you'll find all the details for it. And don't forget, you wanna click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. I have a lot of fun stuff that I do. I have cards and bingo once a month, which is completely online, so anybody can participate in the United States. It's super fun. The class is free and open to anyone. But to participate in the bingo festivities, you need to register. My next bingo is going to be Wednesday, March 10th at 7 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you head over to my blog right up here. Check that out. If you would like to place an order, I would love to earn your business. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I am your person. I will take very good care of you. I pride myself on my customer service. Again, my blog is right here. If you plan on placing an order, please use this host code. If your order is under $150, and if it's over $150, do not use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those. Don't forget, celebration ends February 28th. Get this beautiful paper blooms. I like to call it the bloomin' paper. Paper blooms, you'll get a whole pack of it for free with each $50 order. So if you order $100, you can get two, $150, you can get three, so on and so forth. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Go join the blog hop. See what everybody else is making. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.